welcome to Log to Lumber Pine Milling Virtual Tour. Over the next few minutes, you'll discover how we use science, sophisticated computer technology and automation to transform cylindrical pine logs into all the different rectangular shapes and sizes needed to create the timber products we use every day in our homes, schools and buildings. Welcome to Hind Timber Tumbarumba in the foothills of the Snowy Mountains of New South Wales. My name is Matt and I'll be taking you for a tour through our manufacturing facilities where all our timber is produced from sustainably and locally grown radiata pine. Timber is the ultimate renewable resource. It is replanted after each harvest. Pine has been in the sawmilling business since 1882 and we would not be here now if the timber wasn't completely sustainable. Many people still think of sawmills producing timber by using lots of burly blokes and checkered shirts. That couldn't be further from the truth. Today you're going to see part of a contemporary industry worth up to $24 billion annually and employing over 120,000 people. It is highly automated with scanning and optimization technology behind every piece of timber. I'm about to unload a truck from HVP in Victoria and put him up on the deck. Every day over 80 B double truckloads of pine logs arrive here to begin their high tech journey through the mill. They begin via the step feeder and debarker to remove the bark, but nothing is wasted. The bark is on sold to local landscaping supplies as mulch for gardens and other products. Welcome to the main control room here at Tumbarumba. You've seen the process so far out in the log yard, so now we're going to proceed inside the sawmill where you can see the process in more detail. You can see the operators are here, are running everything you've seen so far. But this is a picture of the first scanner that we use, which is geometric based. It's a very accurate model of the log. And you can see the first saws in action down here. So after we've cut a couple of slabs off the side of the log, we then run into our edges systems, which have a really accurate scan and vision of what's going on inside the log. We use these to make the most profitable decisions possible so that our customers get a high value product. So what we're going to do now is move down to the sawmill so you can see some of these machines in action. The quad band saw are the first saws inside the mill. They cut slabs off the side of the log called flitches that transfer through the edges scanner. This scanner calculates the optimised width for each board and tells the edges saws exactly where to cut. The flat sided log left from the quad band saw, the cant, takes a different path through the horizontal shape saw scanner. This calculates where the saw should cut to make the best grade whilst following the curve of the cant. Trimmer saws will trim rough stock to the right length and cross section. Mills gather a lot of sawdust and chip, but it's great to know nothing is ever wasted. All wood waste is on sold to make products like chipboard and paper, or goes into powering the mill itself via bioenergy plants. Right in front of you are the automated bin sorters, which quickly sort lumber by dimension and grade. And finished boards are stacked with wooden fillet sticks between each row to allow airflow during kiln drying. So after the green mill, about 80% of our product is kiln dried. You can see the steam coming off our kilns process because roughly half the weight of the wood is actually in the water. So the heat process that we use transfers that water into steam, it evaporates. We leave the kiln packs for about five days for that moisture content to equalise and then we store it ready for running in the dry mill. In here you can see the kiln pack entry to the dry mill where 150,000 lengths of timber per day are finished, treated and packed. The tilt hoist is on your left and lifts boards up to separate the kiln fillet sticks from the boards and transfer the boards to the planer. Behind you is the finished goods warehouse. Timber travels to the high speed planer that grades, tests and smooths the surface of the board at up to 125 boards per minute. The last line of quality checks and grading happens here, making sure what goes out to the customer is the very best in Australian certified sustainable timber. In fact, 40 semi-trailer loads of structural grade timber leave this mill every day and up to 100 different product combinations. This timber stores carbon even after it's been harvested and processed. So when we use it to build furniture, homes and buildings, we're also helping in the battle against climate change. Wood really is the ultimate renewable resource. 